Hello and welcome. This is a character profile video for the class Tamer. And what you're going to see in this video is all of her skills. I will show you the top eight PvE and PvP skills that I recommend. You'll see all of her enhancements. You'll see uh, her player card and her farming speed. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in and show you all this for Tamer. Here we go. Okay, if this is the first time that you're seeing this slide, then let me introduce it to you. On the far left side are all of her skills. The next column over called charges is how many times you can use that skill. The next one over to the right is how many times that skill could hit or damage uh, that creature or opponent. And then of course, the next one is the percentage of damage for player versus enemy. And the next one is the percentage of damage of player versus player. And on the far right is all the specials that go with each of these skills. So I do want to point out that I highlighted in red uh, four skills like Gravity Bolt, uh, Maul, Hotspot, and Divine Roar. These I wanted to call to your attention so they don't blend in and but they stand out because with this class you get a pet and the pet is named I believe it's pronounced Heilang or Heilang and uh, he's awesome not only can you ride him like a mount but uh, he is your partner and you guys tag team on damaging everything and it's uh, really really something to see so I highlighted the uh, red uh, text to show that if you use these skills, your damage that you're doing for your CP damage will match Haling's damage as well. It's 50-50% ratio. So it's not combined and then and then split in 50-50. I certainly hope not. I imagine it's whatever you're hitting something at is what he's hitting something at. Or she. I'm not quite clear what the gender of your cat mount is. <laughs> so anyways um, this is all of her skills so what we're gonna do now is move on to the player the PVE top eight skills I recommend see you there okay on this screen if this is also a new section for you it's all the skills that you previously saw except I organized it by the PVE and the damage percentage so once that was organized I highlighted in green the top eight since we can only take eight skills uh, in a battle with us uh, at a time so as you can see beck and call is uh, the highest damage uh, percentage the skill that you have so there's that and all the way down now this is just a recommendation you don't have to choose these skills you may uh, opt for those ones I mentioned that uh, you and Heilang uh, do 50-50% damage. It's not much, but you know if you get your CP up there and uh, you're farming and uh, it just doesn't take much, I'm pretty sure that years two of you farming at your strength would be much faster than one person trying to farm. So just food for thought. But uh, here are the top eight PVE skills, and let's see if they match the same top eight for PVP. And I'll see you there. And it looks like all of the PVE skills are the same as the PVP skills. So no need to worry. You can uh, put them all in and uh, do PVP with it. However, there are some differences. If you're going up against another player, you uh, may want that 50 50 percent damage uh, in there you know again so there's two people hitting at your CP on uh, your opponent and there's also some uh, uh, specials in some of the skills like uh, let's look at the fourth one from the bottom repel uh, invincible while jumping yeah that that might serve you well in a rotation of skills uh, that you may want to bring into a PvP fight. So, your choice. Uh, definitely, uh, you want your super armor where you can because everyone else is doing super armor. 
And uh, don't worry if you don't know what super armor is, I will explain what that is on the next uh, few slides. So from here, take a look and uh, let's go on to all of the in, uh, the enhancements and then the player card and so on. So I will see you there. All right, and if this is the first time you're seeing this slide, I'll briefly introduce it. Uh, on the far left, of course, are all your skills. On the far right is all of the branch damage. And if you don't know what branch damage is, is uh, you will be putting objects into uh, your character to support the damage like Surette, Labrave, Ahiv, and Al. And those will boost or enhance the skills that you're using, causing more damage or more damage to other opponents. So you'll know what branch damage is. You definitely will by level 60 but uh, the center of this the first column second and fourth are I try to keep those as uh, as enhancements that benefit you and do something for you the third one I try to keep it as enhancements that affect the creature monster or player other player that you're fighting so example let's look at sonic slicer and uh, the third column is you can do bleed damage to your opponent. So eight damage every one second for three seconds. And of course on both sides you have a chance uh, to crit. You, uh, your charges, which is how many times you can use the skill, changes from one to two times. So you can use it twice before the cooldown. Well, you'd use it and it would, yeah, you use it twice before cooldown. And, uh, the other one where it says hold skill button for additional attack, same damage and knockback on hit. What that means is when you purchase the enhancement, and it's not given to you, you have to be a certain level and then buy it to apply to this skill, Sonic Slicer, you will be getting an additional damage uh, add to it. And it'll say in the details it's the same damage as this skill and comes with a knockback so really really important that uh, you uh, are leveling up your uh, your skills and getting these enhancements because when you have everything it just allows you to enjoy the character so much better and i mean look at the first column there's damage adds for uh, visually four of your skills right there which stacks twice so there's that and the branch damage on top of it which makes that skill or excuse me yeah the skill in general so much more hard hitting and of course uh you have on the far right the uh, fourth column you got skill cooldowns so that you'll be able to uh you know cast those skills much quicker so all good things uh it's to that person that says i like this character and I'm going to make it my main and I'm going to max everything out and you won't be sorry. So this is the enhancements for Tamer and let's go ahead and show you what the player card's all about. See you there. Okay, if this is the first time that you're seeing the player card, uh, allow me to introduce that to you as well. This is like a baseball card. So if you're familiar with my character profile videos, you can skip right to the t uh, player card and check out the character that you're curious about but uh, at the very top is the top eight pve and pvp skills that i recommend and i've also highlighted in red the uh, 50 50 damage that you and hailing uh, does uh, what those skills are on both sides so you visually can see what they were and where they're at uh, so that's that and to the right of it is a new area i call immobilization so any skill that knocks your opponent down, uh, stuns, bounds, freezes, immobilizes in any way, except for knockback. I just don't consider knockback an immobilization because it's knockback and you can probably roll out of the way or get out of the way, but compared to uh, knockdown, you have an animation of you getting up and getting prepared and ready and your opponent can get a couple hits on you while you're doing that so you're immobilized for sure 
So what you're looking at is in green uh, are the skills that you have that immobilize and it looks like Phantom Step which is uh, the fourth one down for PvE and PvP damage uh, also has two immobilizations with it so that would probably be a good bread and butter against uh, anyone. And then of course the rest of them which have one immobilization in them and then the red that doesn't so it looks like uh, it it looks like it's about 50 50 uh, of her skills that can immobilize so be aware of that below that is uh, all of the skills that you saw in the previous slides uh, for for her and below that are the enhancements uh, that I showed you in the previous slide and of course at the very bottom if you're able to read it uh, is the definition for forward guard and super armor so I'm gonna read that to you if you have a skill that is has forward guard this means that incoming damage will either be zero or heavily reduced very potent effect so if you have a skill with forward guard use it very good and super armor is uh, very common uh, with many skills and this means incoming damage will be reduced and effects that immobilize you like stun, knockdown, freeze, etc. will not happen for a duration of time. This is the reason why everyone in PvP puts super armor skills in their rotation so that you can't immobilize them but if you forget they will immobilize you. And it just causes frustration so be aware of what everyone's doing and that's why I say if you have skills of super armor consider putting it into all the skills you use when you're fighting out there all right so with that uh, the music is gonna change we're gonna head into our farming speeds video so you can see how the tamer does at farming see you there okay welcome to the farming speeds video but first let's show you where we're at we are in Balanos, and we are over here at the Kron Castle entrance. We're here because their CP is 2519 and our CP is 4501. So what we can also show you is that we are using the same gear in our previous uh, profile videos. So it equals 4501 CP. We have no nothing in our inventory except for health potions. We uh, have a clock, so we'll be doing a five-minute test in how many kills she can do. We have a battle tracking sheet that will show uh, how many uh, how many kills she gets. It looks like we'll start it out with the the Black Spirits quest it shows 69. So let's start it at 69 kills. And then we will uh, put in when she's done after five minutes. We have an auto path of where we always go to fight. And just making sure the pets are up and they're good. Yes, they are. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. And when she gets to her destination, we will start the clock. And uh, let her at it. Let her go to it for five minutes. And see how she does. we go I uh, really like this uh, section because it shows you what she's like what her fighting is like you get to see hailing in action this kitty jumping everywhere slicing and clawing nothing but paws and claws <laughs> not to uh, sound uh, slanted or prejudiced in one way uh, towards uh, this character class, but I seriously was considering making uh, Tamer my uh, main. Uh, actually, uh, it's her upgrade, which is Lupa, and 
just because of two creatures farming just really had an appeal sure there's invoker but I really like that appeal of uh, riding Paling, which is uh, one of the uh, circle skills above your four skills there's a picture of Haling and then a picture of a claw so one of those allows you to ride him and attack But I love my Archmage so much that uh, she's my mascot. Can't deviate. I'm gonna take her all the way to the end of the game. It really does seem like uh, Tamer's uh, skills are fast. Uh, looks like he got two minutes on the clock. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, it looks like she fights very, very fast. No uh, holding off for the big boom. Also add that the top eight PVE skills are the skills that she's using right now. Looks like we're getting close to the end of our five minute test. So what we'll do is we will stop the auto attack and we'll immediately go to town, go meet up with Eileen and sell our junk loot. I only count the junk loot. So any armor or the weapon that wants to be equipped, uh, I don't count that. So I can be consistent with all the other uh, characters. And then we'll show you how much uh, silver she earned and uh, how much silver you can earn over the course of 30 minutes to an hour or even four hours. So that's all coming up very shortly here. Alright, just about done. And time. Those guys look like they weren't done fighting. <laughs> okay. So let's head over to Eileen. Now, first things first, let's uh, see how we did with the uh, number of kills in uh, five minutes so 322 is what our quest shows we'll just stop that so let's bring up our battle tracking and of course we'll subtract i need a calculator so we'll put in 322 bring the calculator over there we go so 322 minus 69 253 
killed in five minutes. Wow. My uh, keystrokes on the keyboard are very loud. Sorry about that. <laughs> I made these potions so with the looks like we did well for father. junk. Oh, look at all those skill books. Very nice. And of course, the new weapon they gave us. So let's see how much we got for the uh, junk loot. 69,120. So we'll go ahead and put that into our sheet. Okay, so if we'll bring up our calculator and if we did that for 30 minutes, which is times six, five times six is 30, we would have earned 414,720 silver. Okay, and if we did it for an hour, 829,440. And let's just say you went to dinner, left your phone farming, and uh, did a few errands, came back after four hours. How much silver would you have earned? 3,317,760. Congratulations. And keep in mind, that's just the junk loot. This is a minimum amount that you would get. So with that, I will say, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like my videos, please subscribe, like. I'm always making more videos. There are more to do so that you have a good picture of this game. So thank you once again, and you have a great night. Take care. Bye now.